Hello, my name is Tony Botting, and I'm a simulation specialist at Go Engineer. In this video, we show how to create a simplified pinned end support for beam element models. Sometimes you might need to simulate a pinned end on a structural beam, for example. Here's a typical engineer sketch you might see for end conditions on a beam. These endpoints are sometimes called pinned. This configuration is typically called a simply supported beam. To emulate the pinned simply supported beam restraint, you can use beam elements and apply fixtures on the ends. We'll set up a study using beam elements. So we'll define the static study and we'll do static and click OK. You'll notice the component icon is a solid, cube looking yellow shape. This tells you the software will mesh with solid elements. To change it to beam elements, right click on the icon and choose Treat as Beam. This changes the icon to appear as a bent I-beam with a joint group underneath. We'll need to edit the joint group to define the joints. You can click on Calculate and you'll see the joints show up on the model and in the results box. Now we can apply some fixtures. Right click on the fixtures item and choose the only available option labeled Fixed Geometry. Instead of the Fixed Geometry option, which is selected, we'll use the Immovable No Translation option on the joint on the left. Remember the beam joints have 6 degrees of freedom, 3 rotation, and 3 translation. We want to allow the left end joint to rotate to simulate the pinned end, but not translate, so that's why we chose this option. Now on to the right end. We'll right click on Fixtures and again choose Fixed Geometry. This time we want to choose the option Use Reference Geometry and you'll see why in a moment. We'll select the joint and we'll use the front reference plane for the directions. We'll scroll down to look at the extra panels. Here you can see a translation panel and a rotation panel. We want to hold zero translations up and down and in and out but allow translation along the beam axis. So we've set the DIR2 option to zero and the normal option to zero. You can see the arrows preventing translation in the appropriate directions. We don't select the DIR1 direction because we want to allow the right joint to translate along the beam axis as if on rollers like the drawing. The rotation setting is not selected either to simulate the pinned behavior. We'll click OK to see the fixtures in the tree. Now we'll put on a force load. We'll select the beam option and the top plane for reference. and we'll put in a load normal to the reference plane. We'll also mesh the model and demonstrate a new option. If you right click on the mesh icon you'll see a render beam profile choice which will display the beam elements in the shape of the structure. In this video we showed a sample setup for a pinned end condition on beam elements.